Today's Baldur's Gate 3 video is all about every tadpole, where to find them in Act 1, even the hidden ones, and tips and tricks on how to get them. Tadpole number one is north of uh, where you start out on the beach. You're going to go north here to the Emerald Grove. There's a goblin fight right out the front gates. Once you can go inside, you're in the Emerald Grove. From here, you're going to continue north, curving around east, past the oxes, curving around east, past the kids, towards this little area here where people are uh, having a little bit of a um, kerfuffle. I'm going to walk past them, going again towards the west here this time, through this stone door. We're going to walk in on a child being eaten by a snake. So there we go. Just skip through that. And, oh, look, we saved her. Oh, we're big heroes now. Then you're going to continue northeast into this uh, doorway here. You're going to talk to Nettie. And then Nettie will open the door for us to get to the parasite. So there we go. She whips open that door with her force powers. Then we're going to talk to her and talk to her and more talking. And there we go. We've talked to Nettie. She's now going to leave. And then on the table here, facing the west, is the Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. That's number one. Poll number two is pretty dang close. We're going to go to the Emerald Grove Environs Waypoint. This is right outside the Emerald Grove, and we're going to go west along the road here. So we're going to travel west. Here's the big goblin fight that you did earlier. Continuing west, continuing west. When the road splits, you're going to go north. There's some people up here. You're going to talk to them, and you'll have to say specific dialogue. Here we go. So, what happened to your friend? Hold his stare, and then just tell him what to do. It doesn't matter what you tell him to do. Uh, let's see. There we go. And now, you loot the body, and then you're going to let your body guide you. Welcome to the Tadpole's influence. There we go. And there we go. That's Tadpole number two. Tadpoles 3, 4, and 5 are in the goblin camp. Now, we won't be getting one of these, but here is the goblin camp, kind of in the middle of the map. I like to path from Emerald Grove North over to the mountain pass and then hop around the top here because it just skips a lot of dialogue. It's way faster. It's more efficient. Anyway, so once you are in the goblin camp, proceed forward, and then we will have High Priestess Gut here. However, she is already dead on this save file. So once you kill her... Okay, so I can't loot her in front of people, but once you kill her... She has a tadpole, so go ahead and loot that. Then from here, you can go northeast into this room, and then there is Minthara. Now, Minthara will give you a tadpole if you kill her. However, I don't recommend that you kill Minthara. I recommend that you knock her out instead and recruit her in Act 2. Because she will come preloaded with many tadpole powers, which is technically better than one tadpole. But if you don't plan to use Minthara in your playthrough or you don't like her, then kill her now and take her tadpole. It's that simple. Then, you know, returning to the previous room, we have Ragslin. Now, Ragslin is right through here, and killing him will give you another tadpole. A lot of guides will tell you to push Ragslin into the chasm, killing him instantly because it is a difficult fight early on. However, you shouldn't do that because if you put a, push him into a chasm, you cannot retrieve the tadpole. Bad. It is possible to get another tadpole if you side with Minthara, do her mission on invading the Emerald Grove, and then kill Minthara afterwards. But it's better just recruit her because she comes, again, preloaded with tadpoles. Tadpole number six is from Flind. So from Joaquin's Rest, if you go east and then kind of north, there is a bunch of knolls over here. I will walk you to that Hell now. So going east. And hello, game. <laughs> And then going north, you'll have to kill several gnolls. And then once you go further north, there is a cave. And in this cave, Flind will be scrying some, some weird little hand gesture on the rock here. Then whenever you kill Flind, you will loot his body for a tadpole. The next two tadpoles, that's right, there are two of them, are from Nier. And he is in the Underdark Grim Forge all the way on the southern part here. And once you free him from this rubble, which I didn't have a save to show you, but once you free him from the rubble, then you will talk to him and side with him. He's going to, you know, kill some gnomes, and it's okay to kill the gnomes, except for one of them, so you can actually talk him out of it. Then, once you, he has given you the quest reward, uh, you kill him and take the tadpole in his brain, so you get two for one. Tadpoles 9, 10, and 11 are in the Githyanki Kresh. So from Joaquin's Rest, you would go west, 
across this bridge here to the uh, Githyanki Crush, or so south of the Goblin Camp, you will go west uh, along the road to uh, the camp that way. So we're going to go west from the Crush. There we go. And we're going to cross the bridge here, and then we're going to go to the Crush area. This is also known as the Rosimon Monastery, so we go to the Mountain Pass. Are you sure you want to go? And stuff happens, I'm just gonna skip all the stuff. And show, and then we're just gonna go to bed. We're not gonna talk to anybody. Oh, someone wants to talk. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Now we go to bed. Okay. Now we talk to Will. There we go. Da 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 da. There we go. Now we go to bed. All right. It's bedtime. Yeah, sleeping. Oh no. Let's skip this. Once you are done with the camp, little you know scenes. It's the next day. You are now in the Rosy Morn Monastery. We're going to proceed north, and then we're going to curve around and continue northeast. There we are, and it's actually faster if I can get this cable car working, but you don't always get to have it working. Let's see, oh, uh, nope, didn't do it. Oh, well, so we'll just walk it. There's a bunch of traps, though, and we're just going to walk along the path. There we go, jump across. Oh, no, explosions. Oh, they hurt. Oh, no, please they'll keep up with my camera. All right, and again, we're just going north, northeast here. Here's the waypoint. This is what the path looks like so far. Don't you just love it when it's sped up like this? Then you're going to proceed east. All the way to the front of the uh, monastery here. And there's a little cutscene. And stuff happens. And oh man, it's so tragic. Then you're going to go south. And you're going to climb down the little rocks. Oh boy, climbing down the rocks. And then you're going to go east. And jump across. And there's a chest. And you're, you're going to go down these knotted roots. There we are. Very cool stuff. Jump across. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think Lazelle is good at lock picking. Uh, actually, this is actually kind of easy. She did it! Crit success! Snap 20. And in the crush we go! Lazel is fine because she's Gith Yankee. I uh, managed to talk my way out of that. Cool. I hit the wrong button, but it still worked. And there we go. Now we're going to the main part of the crush. I didn't mean to talk to her. And we got the waypoint, so this is the way so far. Then we're going to go west. Yes, and then we see this little portrait. We're going to go uh, southwest. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. And then we are now in the infir infirmary. This is what the map looks like. Now we talk to Gustil, whatever the heck her name is. Well, it doesn't matter, but um, yeah, she's leaving the room now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the Mind Flayer Parasite on the table. And then there are two more over here to grab. So that's, uh, yeah, that's number 9, 10, and 11. And that is all the parasites in Act 1. Very cool stuff. Smash your stuff and blow yourself up. You did it. You finished the video. Just go crazy with Lazel, smashing all the things. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Swole Benji. Please leave a like on the video. Uh, let me know what you thought. And um, finally, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click it, then the Gith Yankee are going to knock you all over the place and torture you, and it's not going to be a fun day. I'll see you in the next video.